Welcome back everybody to another build episode here at the lab. I'm Andrew and I'm super excited to go along on this next build journey with you guys where I am going to be making a body surfing hand plane. So what is a body surfing hand plane? It's actually a lot like a surfboard that we have here. What the hand plane actually does is creates lift which equals less drag so you can actually perform and stay with the wave for a lot longer. We're actually going to be reclaiming the foam for it out of this board here which I absolutely trash. With that being said we've got to hack this thing up in the shop so let's get to it. Hi guys, I'm a surfboard. <laughs> Is that bad? It's like a little baby surfboard. Here's your surfboard, here's your surfboard rod. So we've got all of our parts cut out. We got our stringer ready to go. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some of this Thixo Fast Cure and we're just gonna smear it onto the foam sides and then we're gonna clamp it up in this little setup we've got here. We're gonna walk away from it for a while, let it cure up, and then the fun starts once it's done. Thixo Fast Cure. Thixo, bow. All right, we good? Battery dead. We're done. <laughs> See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. So it's the very next day and our blank is all glued up. Look, it's a little baby surfboard. I'm so excited. I've got to flatten out the stringer. It's a little proud right now. And then it is time to square up this blank, get the template, the shape of the board drawn out, cut it on the bandsaw and get to shaping. Look at that. Still not 100% even though. No. I went for a custom template on this one. I put some time in trying to figure out exactly you know, what I'm trying to get out of this board. And I'm trying to get like an easy rider, beginner type shape. And that means there's gonna be a lot more foam. It's gonna be a lot easier uh, to go out and catch waves on. And that's kind of the mode I'm in for this build. I just wanna be able to go out there, you know, on a beach day and get some wave. Nice. I actually did was I, I created a little bit of a nose and I pretty much left all the foam on the tail there. So as we enter uh, going down the face of the wave, we keep all the energy and it releases very easily. So that's all done. Now it's time to shape the rails. So let's get to it. The board is finished shaped and it's finally time to get the glass down. I actually pre-cut the glass. It's just gonna be one layer of fiberglass going down on the bottom. And what we're gonna do is do it in a traditional acid splash 
uh, pattern. So what we're going to do is mix up a bunch of high performance with uh, medium hardener and mix up a few colors, throw those down, finish glassing it with a splash of clear over all of it. And we will have the bottom glass tomorrow. We come back and we will glass the top. So let's get into it. I'm going to like Picasso it. So I'm just going to So we just got everything all glassed up and it went pretty damn well. So I'm gonna let this set up overnight. I'm gonna walk away from it. We ended up using high performance epoxy with slow hardener uh, with those two layers going down. Uh, we just wanted to make sure we had enough working time and everything checked out. So we're gonna walk away from this and we'll come back tomorrow. Graz, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Graz? Graz, Graz. Can you hear me? It's time to film. It's time to do the surfboard hand plane. Film time. It's time to sand all this down. There's a little bit of a lip from that lap that we pulled over the rail that I just have to knock down and get smooth. After that, we're gonna get a bucket of resin uh, of high performance and we're gonna dump it on here. That's the sanding coat that locks everything together and we'll ultimately polish that up at the end too. I got this fin stock from my buddy Corey Nolan who uh, lives in New Hampshire and owns and operates the company uh, Hydrophile Surfcraft. He makes these incredible laminations uh, where he custom hand shapes fins for people all over the world. And I was lucky enough to get my hands on some scraps, so thank you Corey. Once those are glued down, this thing gets a sweet polish and it's time to hit the waves. Touch it. Give me the... Touch it. You want me to hold it? Well, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uno. Finger, please. Hey. Here comes the glob. And F. So we got all the glass wrapped around the fins. We're gonna let this set up for the rest of the day. We really want that to cure. Uh, after that, we sand it all down. We put another gloss coat down and then we polish thing, this thing up and it's almost done. I think I should have said something else but I didn't have anything else to say because that's all I'm gonna say. Right? Do you? Should I say anything else? That's it, it's a wrap. So all of the stuff came in the mail. We've got our leash plugs. These are actually plugs for the leash on the back of a surfboard, the thing that attaches to your leg. But everybody's been using these in hand planes, so we got the thinnest ones we could to fit in the board. And then we got the strap. I just picked it up off Etsy. A guy just makes these, it was like 10 bucks. I uh, can't complain. So this is the thing that's gonna strap down to those plugs. Uh, I'm gonna take my time to get that, those marks just right. And then we're gonna drill in. We'll use some thick so straight out of the tube. And we'll let this set up. At the end of the day, we'll strap the handle on. Extreme concentration. This is all a lie because I've done this already. There it is. The hand plane is done and it is time to go to the ocean to ride some waves. See you there.
<laughs> oh, that was a noise. That was happy. <laughs> I really would love to come back. Spins are epic. Dude. Yeah, like, did, you, did you learn about layers of cloth? And yeah. How, how and you need like, to make, make your channels a little deeper. <laughs> I've been waiting to get this thing into the water. It's totally done. We finally have some waves. The sun is out. I am ready to get in the water. We've got some really good waves that I've never surfed before at this secret location not to be named. I'm tired of talking already. I'm out there. Oh, this thing was freaking amazing. I can't thank Corey enough for the sick, fitting little side bites he gave me. I mean, this board is perfect. I'm gonna get out of my wetsuit and uh, it's food time. <laughs> Woo! <There you> <laughs> so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh my god, look how close you are. Didn't even flinch. <laughs> 